Oh my goodness, dude. That is known as periodontal disease, and if you don't want your teeth to fall out like this, then consider brushing and flossing every single day. Seriously, guys, avoid it. Avoid periodontal disease. All you have to do is just brush, just floss. That's it. But wow, this is a severe case of periodontal disease, guys. Just look at those teeth. Those teeth are not even holding in anymore. Oh. For those who don't know what periodontal disease, guys, it basically happens when you don't brush and, and floss. And this is what happens. This is, leads to this. You sure about that? Are you sure you want to whiten your teeth? You sure about that? You sure, you about, sure that? about that? I mean, I'm not in the clinic yet. I'm still a student. But I can imagine when I start having patients. And yeah, there's probably going to be people asking for whitening left and right. But guess what? You got to take care of the teeth first. And this teeth, guys, if you guys look at the gums here, they're inflamed. They're red. You look at the teeth. I see plaque. Potential calculus already starting to form here. You gotta take care of that first. Like we can't do the whitening. Number one priority. Three signs that you have gum disease. All right, let's learn about some signs about gum disease that can lead to periodontal disease. When you brush your teeth or you floss, you notice bleeding. Your gum bleeding. Bleeding is number one sign for gingivitis. It seems puffy, a little glossy, and might even be sore. When you spit after brushing, you see pink in the sink. You should never see pink in the sink if you're flossing and brushing and you are seeing pink like blood uh, on your sink keep doing it don't stop you know keep brushing keep flossing you want to keep doing it until your gums essentially uh, hopefully the inflammation goes away completely and once that happens you should see a lot less if not no more blood on the sink while brushing and flossing but you do need to do flossing every single day to see this eventually happen. four stages of periodontal disease First stage, gingivitis, like I talked about, inflamed gums, a little bit of redness. Stage two is four millimeters. If you have four millimeters of that probing, when the dentist does that probing to see your depth, probably may have or may be at the very, very beginning of periodontal disease. Now here we got moderate periodontal disease. Guess what? The depth is deeper, which means you got more bone loss, which means your teeth are more wiggly. And guess what? Look at this tooth here. That is some pretty intense periodontal disease right there. That root is already showing, it's exposed. Um, this is really hard. I'm not even sure if this tooth right here is salvageable. And then we got fourth stage, which is advanced, bro. Tooth loss, that number eight tooth, that, that number nine tooth that you saw, it's gone now. So that's what periodontal disease does. Uh, your bone essentially just it recedes, recedes, recedes. Your gum will also recede because your gum is attached, most of your gum is attached to your bone and tooth loss happens. Irreversible stuff. Just, if you want to avoid to even get this, just brush and floss. Seriously. <clears throat> so this is an act, live action or anime, whatever you want to call it, uh, of periodontal disease. First, you got here gingivitis, inflammation of the gum there. But eventually, this inflammation, if you don't get rid of it, if you don't floss, brush your teeth, it will lead to this gum recession because of tooth loss. And then that's periodontal disease at this point. The tooth is really wiggly. Unfortunately, probably gone. As you can see, there. this sweet, sweet patient of mine. So this is a patient uh, of a doctor and this patient wanted to share their story about their periodontal disease journey and to bring awareness and help others not to get it. So let's watch. Wanted me to share his story about what can happen if you avoid going to the dentist for too long. Just look how so wiggly they are. experiencing severe periodontal disease. As you can see him wiggling his teeth right here, the inflammation caused by the calculus has caused the bone to recede and now the teeth are very mobile because nothing is holding them in place. These teeth have to be extracted. And this is why we say it's very important that you guys floss, brush your teeth, visit your dental hygienist, get them cleanings done twice a year. And the main reason for this is to get rid of that plaque, get rid of calculus that you may have, which is a natural buildup that we have in general but some have it worse than others, some have it better than others. Maybe. All right, so now we're gonna see another example of periodontal disease. As you guys can see, uh, calculus there. It just looks not good. And this is, now this is root planing and scaling to give it a real deep clean, to get rid of all that bacteria that's there and hopefully uh, maintain and don't let periodontal disease completely co uh, continue to progress. Hey, so this is a person who has periodontal disease, guys. Uh, and guess what, they had to fix their teeth. And one solution that they did was, uh, one, you have to get rid of your teeth. That's what this person did. And they got themselves dentures. Woo! 
Ooh. Yeah. Now, I don't know if these are implanted dentures, but she got denters, denters and just look how beautiful her smile has transformed from the periodontal disease to a beautiful smile. So this will happen for a lot of patients who have periodontal disease so severely that they have to get all of their teeth removed. And if that happens, all well, dentures is one solution here for you. And you oh, I love this here. model. You can see the calculus buildup. So this is showing the calculus that you guys, that some people have on their teeth. And if you don't get rid of it, well, it leads to bone loss and gum recession. On the root surface in the front and in the back. And also you can see the level of bone loss here. That's what I love about this model. It's just look at that. You see that white part right above the root of the teeth uh, right here. You know, that this is bone right here alveolar bone is what we call it um and guess what like that bone is receding and since it's receding it's showing more of the root like this one is how it's supposed to be a little bit further than that but you know you get the idea the thing about this model is that it also shows mobility so it shows okay. the patients that when we start to lose bone we can end up losing our teeth as well yeah, when I become a dentist one, like in three years when I become official dentist, I definitely want to have this for my future patients and show them. Most people know when you don't floss your teeth, you can get gingivitis. But if it's not fixed early, it can lead to something called gum disease. This periodontal disease. This involves the bone and can even lead to potential tooth loss. Yep, this is just me showing you guys. Just floss, just brush, and you should be able to avoid these things. Of course, every person is different, guys, you know. But for the majority of people, you should be okay. But, you know, not everything is um, as easy as that. So this is an example of calculus, a.k.a. tartar, that is caked onto the teeth from not brushing in a very long time or using an ultrasonic scaler to chisel it away, and voila! That's calculus. If you don't get rid of this, like I said, if you don't go to dental hygienist, go to your dentist to get rid of this uh, on a yearly basis. If that's how severe your calculus is, you should see your dentist uh, twice a year. If you don't get rid of this, you'll get gingivitis, like we mentioned earlier in the video. And leading towards that, if you don't, if it doesn't get better, it will lead to periodontal disease. So yeah, guys, just brush, just flush, just keep your teeth looking great. So beautiful people, if you guys enjoyed the content, first of all, thank you for the ones who have recently subscribed to the channel, guys. I appreciate you. I see you guys. I see you guys hitting that subscribe button. If you guys enjoy, please give a thumbs like on the video. Please comment down below what you guys think about the video. What do you guys think about uh, my editing? Is it good, bad? You know, whatever you guys want to comment. If you guys enjoy, please subscribe, follow. Uh, follow me on Instagram. It's literally type in smile with Glenn. And yeah, guys, if you guys want what, what video you guys want to see next, let me know. And I'll see you guys later. Peace. As always, don't forget to smile more.